Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to look at the Fidget Batman Single Spinner. This is a cute little guy that uh, making it into a Batman shape using SolidWorks uh, 3D modeling software. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is in SolidWorks create a new part and then we're going to use Center Rectangle and uh, create a rectangle that is 60 by 40. And we'll go ahead and extrude that into a solid object. And we're going to make this seven millimeters thick. Then we're going to cut a hole in the center of it using a circular pattern. And this is going to be a diameter of 22.2 millimeters. Again, the reason we uh, go 0.2 since the skateboard bearing is 22 millimeters in diameter. We do make this a little bit larger because as the plastic in the 3D printer is extruded, it uh, expands a little bit uh, so about 0.1 on either side about 0.2 overall that way it's easier to get this uh, bearing inserted into the plastic by making it just about 0.2 so after we do that we're going to go ahead and uh, cut that and we cut a hole clean through using the feature extruded cut uh, next we're going to probably fillet these corners down a little bit kind of round them down and uh, this was uh, 40 in height so we're going to use a uh, 20 millimeter uh, radius uh, fillet on each corner to kind of round this out. I'll go ahead and accept that. We've got our rounded uh, rounded rectangle now with the hole cut through it. We need to add a few more uh, cuts in here to give us our Batman shape. Uh, so let's uh, do some cuts. We're going to cut up at the top to start forming the head with the ears. Uh, eight millimeter circle we're going to center it right here on this uh, center line going right through the origin and then down here we're going to create a couple uh, 10 millimeter circles and we're going to space them it looks like 5.25 uh, from the center line to start forming that tail of our bat we're going to go ahead and cut those using the, again the features extruded cut and we've got a little bit of shape now for head and the tail still need to make some more cuts to continue on with our batman shape so we're going to Make a couple of cuts up here, 11.5 millimeters to help start forming the head. Go ahead and cut those out. Uh, next, we're going to do another little cut. This is only going to be a 6 millimeter coming down from the center of that last arc. Cutting that out, we get that head shaped a little bit better. And then continuing on, we're going to make some more cuts down here at the bottom to help shape this tail up a little bit, or 4 millimeters each. Go ahead and cut those out again using uh, features extruded cut. Now I've got the tail started and the head started. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put a fillet in here to kind of clean up some of these edges, kind of round this out a little bit. This fillet is a 20 millimeter. Go ahead and accept that with a little green check. And uh, next we're going to do a little bit more cutting to help start uh, shaping these wings a little bit better. So we're going to run, looks like a 10 millimeter. Uh, cut here, and another one here, and then down below here, an 8 and an 8. This will help shape these wings a little bit better. Go ahead and accept that. So the wings are starting to shape up pretty good. We still have some edges and rough spots down here that we need to fill it. So we're going to put a 20 millimeter fillet here to round this down, and then down here to, to take out this little point. Go ahead and accept that. Not shaping up pretty good. Uh, all we need to do is probably do a couple more fillets. We're going to take just these sharp edges off with a small 0.25 millimeter. Uh, just so when we print it, we don't end up with some real sharp edges that are actually hard to print. And we don't want to end up uh, poking ourselves with this thing. So we're going to accept that. We rounded that out. Uh, we need uh, just uh, two more fillets on the top edges to kind of get these sharp edges uh, rounded down. So here we've got a, a 3.5 millimeter. Uh, top and bottom fillet on all these uh, sharp edges. This is only seven millimeters thick, so the 3.5 will give you a nice rounded appearance. And we'll go ahead and accept that. Now we've got our uh, Fidget Batman single spinner, and it's rounded off. We've got the head and the tail looking pretty good. So all we need to do now is add a bearing. So we'll pop a bearing in the middle here, and we've got our spinner. Now we'll create an STL file out of this. Uh, so that we can start printing them. And we'll be printing them on a 3D printer. Uh, one of my favorite printers now is the MakerBot Replicator. So we'll start printing these probably soon. 
Uh, that's all I got for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it and uh, hope we can make some more spinners. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.